What's up, my friends? Welcome to Bronze to Mythic, a show where I draft my account from Bronze to Mythic. So we do some titles. This is how it works, you know? And uh, we're drafting Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, episode 17, draft number 17. Now, remember, this is a series where I draft with y'all. Episode 1 is draft 1 for me. So we're here through all the learning process. Got a pretty good feel for the format now. Uh, green decks are really, really good. And I uh, had a cool deck in our last draft. Missed that one. Go watch it on YouTube. All the episodes you missed are all on YouTube. So an episode comes out on YouTube every other day until the series is over, as always. I do this every set. It's a lot of fun. And uh, along with the other content that I do, I do 10, 10 new brews. I do set reviews. Tons of content. Make sure you like the, account, like the channel. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Follow. Do all the things you're supposed to do. That support me as a full-time content creator. That's what I am. I pay my bills. Thanks to you fine folks. You're all awesome. Thank you so much. So let's jump right into draft number uh, 17 here. And um, we're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep going. If you like a theme song at Scott Tune Network, uh, they're incredible. Look them up on YouTube. They do ska everything. Uh, ska covers and ska this and ska that. Uh, there are like 20 bands. They're just great. Look them up. Scott Tune Network is great. Where's the eighth person? Why is it always the eighth person every single time? Every single time. Are you serious? Are you serious? All right. Here we go. Here we go. I want to remind you about the overlay you see right now that is untap.gg. Uh, you should download it because it's freaking insane. Untap is awesome. Insane back too. Uh, the numbers you see on top are LSU's ratings. Number on the bottom are the dynamic rating that updates as the draft goes on. Free to download, untap.gg. Please use my link to download it so I get credit for it because untap is awesome, all right? Great pack here. Uh, great pack here. Soaring City is obviously great. All the challenges are great, honestly. But realistically, I think the only card you can take this back is the uh, the Reign of Truth. This card is unbelievable. There are almost like half a dozen like mythic uncommons in this set, and this is one of them. This card is unbelievable. We got 11 out of nowhere in a game we had no way we could possibly lose in a draft earlier today. Um, just an unbelievably good card. Uh, just so good. Just so good in grindy decks and in, in aggressive decks, you name it. So. Poet is fine. Honestly, over um, underperforms a little bit. Uh, Ray Butter's fine. Chef's fine. Oath's good. But just easy Ray of Truth here. Uh, no good green cards, too, and green's the best color, so that's pretty good for us, too. All right, we pass the pack here with a rare missing, so no signal. Only one green card. Again, a good sign for, uh, for uh, drafting green. Again, not a card I like the first pick. It's a card I want to have in my green deck for sure, but I don't really want to have more than one of this card, typically. And Sunblade Samurai is pretty sweet. Honestly, pretty sweet. So, you have to take a Samurai here. Reckoner Raid is good. I think Black White just kind of blows. Um, we've been Black White like three times now, and every time we go 3 3. It's just never good enough. Uh, never good enough. So, this card's okay, Specialist, but Blue White's not a very good archetype. It's a very slow card. I think this is an easy Samurai here. Um, she's gonna stay white. Ideally, I wanna be white green to maximize Reign of Truth, but we can go from there. Uh, let's take a white card here. We could also end up being like blue red artifacts and splash this uh, off the samurai too. So samurai is a pretty easy pick here, I think. Super flexible, super safe. Like it a lot. This card's uh, gonna play a little worse than it looks. Okay. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Prodigy's prototype is a pretty cool card, but the problem is the vehicles just aren't that good. Um, most of the vehicles are just bad. They're just like bad to medium. There's a huge amount of diminishing returns of vehicles where you just can't afford to like keep taking the vehicles over and over and over again. One, uh, I mean, the the completions play pretty well with the uh, the rancher and the enchantment stuff, which is kind of cool. Definitely like the idea of being uh, enchant, enchanty. Um, like, I'm not even sure if I want to take a blue card here that the pro, this card is better than uh, the completion is, realistically. We, um, there's a rare and a common missing here. Ur Saga. Fade is pretty good, but, like, there's just no green cards at all. Um, I'm gonna take the prototype. I'm not gonna be happy about it, but I'm gonna take it. I'd like to try it. I'd like to try it. We don't want to be, like, a, oh, man, Gloom Streaker, never mind. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're, we're black, green, splash, white, or whatever. Or green, white, splash, white. Um... As soon as I'm in, I'm out immediately. We passed three of these. 
last draft. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Um, but Gloom Trigger here is by far the pick. There's a rare and uh, a saga and a common taken, which is just insane. Uh, one of the best uncommons there is. Super, super awesome. And uh, Seshiro being here is a good sign that green's open as well, too. So pretty easy Gloom Trigger here. And then our, our goal is going to be um, either like... Probably green, white, splash, black, but it could be green, black, splash, white also, given the cards you already have. All right, uh, another completion, which is kind of annoying, but it's also an automaton, which is really, really good. But again, we're going to be going down the enchantment path. Um, I think Exemplar is fine here. Just a solid two drop. Just a fine card. Um, automaton is just like not really where we're going to be artifact-wise. or Probably going to be enchantment -y. I mean, without Gloom Shrieker here, I might consider taking the automaton and being a little more artifact-y. It has another completion, which is ridiculous, but I think we're taking the white card here. We're taking the white card. Another exemplar. Okay. Um, still a lot of blue cards floating around. Not a lot of black cards. It's possible that we won't won't play this. We're going to exemplar again. Uh, it's an enchantment. It's a pretty good creature. It stacks pretty well. This is the only like samurai card I actually like because it's an enchantment. All the other ones are, are just not anything. They're not artifacts or enchantments, and like, it's just like, a pretty bad place to be. I think you want to be one or the other in this format, so... Take Exemplar again. And uh, more blue cards. More blue cards. There is a Haven. It's a super safe pick as far as splashes go. Mobilizer mech is just bad. Like, just a bad card. Just a bad card. Uh, a suits, whatever. Just take the Haven. Just take the Haven. Alright, and uh, Windscarred Crag. Ace is okay. Moth Rider's okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna Moth Rider Patrol here again. No, these cards aren't enchantments or artifacts, which sucks. That's why I don't like these cards that much. But Apprentice is not very good. Cultivation is like honestly a little interesting. Uh, we still might end up green right, but we're gonna take the rat of the Moth Rider. Just kind of like keep things open here. This is our opening pack. We've tabled the Dockside Chef. Uh. Also, a Brute Suit, which is not a terribly bad card. It's fine. Uh, another Ace, kind of shitty. Don't have any green or black cards, so... Um, this card is only okay. It's not particularly great. It's only really good in black-red. I'm going to take the Brute Suit, though. Alright, another freaking terrible, terrible, terrible vehicle. Terrible vehicles forever. Uh, I mean, every else, every other card is terrible, so whatever, I guess. I don't want to play this card, but sure. Scrounger is fine. Um, Thundersteel Colossus. This card's pretty good, too. But just gotta take the Scrounger. It's looking like you might be black. I mean, black white again. Oh, no. <laughs> Not again. Not again. All right. Scrounger. Um, these cards are all bad. Capture is just like not. A, I don't think this card's even playable in this format. Take the entry. All right, kind of an ugly pack one here. Uh, I passed a lot of blue cards. Man, just terrible pack. Uh, I passed a lot of blue cards. Probably not going to be blue going back that way. There were no green cards. There were none. Uh, so, we need to, uh, figure out exactly where we're going. We're pretty open, though, honestly. We're gonna open up a Grease Fang Okiba Boss, which honestly isn't even that good. It's, like, fine, but the ability on it is almost flavor text. It's pretty hard to ever activate this thing. It's mostly just a 4-3. Uh, Tech Wrecker is obviously awesome. It's like an insanely good card. Um, we already have Gloom Shrieker. I think we're just going to Tech Wrecker. Just like too good of an uncommon. All the other cards we could take here just aren't that good. This card just sucks. It's, like, it's funny. It's a 4 3. It's like fine. But yeah, we're going to take Tech Wrecker and try and figure it out, honestly. We obviously, we passed no green, except for like that one Seshiro thing, 
And green's like the enchantment color also, so take that right here. Uh, Pillar of Order, another completion. I mean, arrest is just good, so take the arrest. Also, a twisted embrace too. Jeez, what is going on? All right. Um, jeez, I think it's just arrest. I think the only thing we know is that we're white. Maybe we're not even that white. I don't even know. Like, Arrest and Embrace are pretty close. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Arrest. Again, we're probably maybe splashing black. So, like, double black's a pretty big ask, whereas we'll definitely play this Arrest one way or another, so. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jesus. Two, two mythic level uncommons here. Another Ram Truth or a Prancer. I just want the, want the Brain of Truth, though. Let's just, now we have two Brain of Truth, so you can just go nuts. You can go super aggressive. Um, Prancer's great and all, but we only have one green card anyway, so... Yeah, white is obviously insanely open here. If this is pick three, and we're still on a rest and a Brain of Truth. That's sick. That's sick. Brain of Truth it is. Hold the Unspeakable. Okay. Uh, blue might be back on the menu, folks. This card's also unbeatable. Um... <laughs> Trash bot, brute suit. Yeah, I mean like uh Gentlemen Behold Alright. The good thing here is that we just have a lot of good cards. So we have like, you know, one, two, three, four. We have four, five now awesome first pick level on commons. Uh so we'll just figure it out. We're not gonna play all of them probably, but we'll just figure it out. And now white dries up. And now white dries up. Hmm. So. If we were to be. Like Blade Blizzard is pretty good. It's like not great. It's not an enchantment which kind of sucks. But I don't think I can like take a green card here in good conscience. So, I think we're still thinking white cards. I don't love it, but... Alright, there's a Go Shintai. Which is pretty cool. I feel like we're probably not playing the Behold and Speakable. Um, Go Shintai is really good with the, uh, the Reign of Truths. I think we're starting to just lean into green-white. It's a Tanuki also. Yeah, this card's good. I'm not taking a duel here. Uh, this is a good two drop. Yeah, that's another good. Uh, oh, yeah, a lot, a lot of good cards here. So we're, we're gonna companion, but Tanuki and Azusa are both good too. So green seems open. I guess it doesn't matter that much because like we're the pack's not like super thick, but take companion. Um, terrible pack. We have a an arrest. Oh, actually, we have an arrest and a shrine. This card's like not like insanely bad. Um, rest of the pack's pretty bad, but sure, it's playable. Another doggy, perfect. Okay. Harmonious Invergence is like not bad if you're aggressive, which is super cool. Uh, Kami now though, now we have double Reign of Truth, double Companion, so Kami's pretty appealing. Yeah, we're going to Kami here. Uh, garbage. Speaking of garbage. Still a piece of garbage. Um, I don't want these cards in my deck. And there's still an outside shot we splash blue. So I'll take the, the Cove. Commune's great. All right. I would say we're not playing Dockside or Scrounger. There's a chance we play uh, Streaker. It's a light chance we play Blue. We're probably going to be Green White, though. We have Patrol, Commune, Double Exemplar, Double Truth, Double Companion. Open up a Naturalist. Yeah, I think we're off for the races here, folks. So, took a while to find our footing, but we found it. We found it. Open up this card again, but whatever. Uh, this card's whatever. So, yeah, pretty easy Naturalist here. Card's awesome. Card's definitely awesome.
All right. I think Blue's gone. Um, I think now the question is, am I playing this Gloom Streaker or not? Ooh, wow. This card's insane of his deck. This card's really, really good. I've been very impressed with this card. Samurai's great. So now we're just like almost all in on this like the, the Green White Enchantment deck. We're just like there. We're just like finding all the pieces too. So there's a chance we splash the Gloom Streaker. I don't think we're going to at this point though. Um, I almost forgot to play this honestly, but one, two, three, four, five, six. These are all good. Naturalist. Kitsune is not great in our deck, but it's fine. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, Tales of Mass is awesome. Banishing Slash is also quite good, but we have no artifacts. So it's just, it's just a two-mana disenchant. I think topping our curve with, with Sestro is better than this card is. Um, I guess we're actually going to let our removal. We have one arrest. But I think this card is better. I think this card is better. Um, yeah. Now I have the Naturalist too. It's really good there. Uh, more trash bots. It's a Nuki. Uh, Fell, new sub. What's your name? Where from? Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Remember Discord. Trash bot or Tanuki? Tanuki is not really great in our deck. We could obviously splash the black now, maybe with the Tanuki. We only have a Haven though. Uh, Tanuki is just okay. Trash bot's not great either, but sure. There's one of these in every pack. It's pretty funny. Um, safekeeping is like not great, but it's fine. It's fine. We're really like thinning out a bit here. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we're definitely thinning out here a little bit. Yeah. All right. Sure. Another go Shintai. Ooh, wow. Is it Shintai or is it Tails of Mass Sestero? Tails is great. Uh, Tails is really, really good, but go Shintai is also really good. It's especially good with our uh, our Double Truth also. Um... I'm not, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna fade here. I want, I want, a, I want an enchantment threat. It's a mana sink too. I don't know. I think it's two drop. I think it's two drop. We have um. We have like this thing to to cure to go in cheap. So yeah, I think I like that. Light pause does nothing for us. Right? No, nothing. Uh, second kami is a little less exciting than the first one is. Again, it's not an enchantment itself. So, like, the, you know, the, the opportunity cost of having non-enchantments kind of sucks. Imperial Recovery Unit is fine in this deck. We have a lot of two drops. I could buy it. I could buy it. <laughs> Prototype everywhere. Uh, Alright, whatever. And, uh, I mean, Authority is actually pretty good in this deck. It's not a great card, but it's it plays. I think it plays in this deck. If we need a playable, it's like certainly reasonable. Right now we're at twenty-four. Moth Rider, Authority, Double Communes, Safekeeping. I guess Safekeeping and, and Authority like have the same sort of role, but that's a late emergence. I like this card. It's like specifically good in this deck. I don't think it's like amazing otherwise. I'm gonna, I'm only playing one Kami, I think. And Smell Pierce. All right, I think that's our deck, folks. We gotta cut one card. Is it Shrine Steward? This card's like fine. It's just like two for one, three two. So three two comes to play draws a card. Yeah, I mean after a pretty wild start, I mean the the I think that this was a good example of a uh, what to do in drafts. Just take the good cards for the first like ten picks and then figure it out later. You know, just make sure by the end of your pack one, you've got some good cards lined up. You know, and then figure it out. Figure it out. All right, so let's take a look here. And uh, it's funny. They want to, play, want to play Bant, but you can't play Bant here. Man, is just too bad. Just too bad. Um, all right, so cut the, cut the Landos. And we got 25 cards here. Two Geothermal Commies, way too many. I mean, bouncing the Reign of Truth is pretty cool also. Let's consider that. I would say that we maybe just cut the shrine. Steward. I don't really want this Tanuki either, honestly, but Splashing Black is like just not really there. I mean it is like we do have Kami and Gloom. 
So you play one forest, we have one far I mean, one swamp, one tanuki, and one haven. That's just so light. This is so light. Um We got a ton of two drops. We have recovery unit plus tech wrecker is pretty cool. Um We can cut safekeeping. That's fine. This is 24 cards. Kitsune is like it's fine. It plays all the Reign of Truths. I agree it's not great in the deck, but like the thing is like, what are you replacing it with? You know, like is safekeeping better? Maybe. Maybe not. I like the authority. Um I think authority is like good in this deck. Uh putting a counter on naturalist is great. The trample guy is great. So sixteen lands, yeah. I, I usually play sixteen in the, in, uh, in best of one. Um, I play. I'll play fourteen sometimes, honestly, if we're like have enough communes and stuff. But the shrine store is pretty good here. Um, it just gets we have two shrines and one aura, so it's almost always live for a removal spell or a threat. It's a little slow. I wouldn't mind cutting it, but I don't really think we have anything better to play. Um, like maybe we just want safekeeping. It's just like a cheaper card. Again, Tanuki's, like, not really very good in this deck. We're not trying to ramp or splash. You know what? I'm going to cut Tanuki. I'm going to play the safekeeping. Um, I think Tanuki's just, like, too clunky. And we never want to activate it for the channel. So it's basically just a 6-mana 6-5, six six which is just not good enough. So if we were splashing, absolutely. But we could splash a Swamp, like, Gloom, Gloom Streaker, but there's just not enough. If I had, like, give me one duel. Give me a duel and a Haven, and I think maybe we're splashing at that point. But right now, we have a pretty good aggressive deck here. We've got a great curve, double Reign of Truth, double uh, ways to bounce it and reuse it, a couple of removal spells, Naturalist, uh, good curve. Just want to be the beat down here, I think. Couple, so I'd rather, I'd rather have a cheap trick than a big dumb idiot. So uh, this is our deck. Colors are a little higher on white, but we have a, uh, a green one drop and a way to get planes. So we're going to go even, even lands here. I am not going to play the Haven. We're just going to go 8-8. Uh, eight, eight. Do that one. And uh, this one's cool. going to go 8-8. Eight, eight. And uh, this is our deck. I think it's actually pretty good. I think it's actually pretty good. A little... Uh, I definitely think it could be a little better. But I think overall, Double Rain Truth is just, is just insane. And we're just going to keep playing it over and over again with this card. So, deck seems sweet. Episode 17, Bronze to Mythic. You know what time it is, folks. It's time to place your bets. What do you think prediction time Let's well, get seven wins, yes or no. On stream, just place your bets. On YouTube, take a second, pause the video, scroll to the comments, like me along the way. That means you. Yeah, you. Like the damn video, all right? Leave a comment, all capital letters, believer or non-believer. Let's get seven wins, yes or no. Place your bets. Episode 17, Bronze to Mythic. Let's go. I like this one. I like this one. Can't believe it. Disrespect your his non-believers. All right, here we go. Ooh, our opponent is... 77% mythic. That's impressive. Alright, hands great. Pretty good. Not great, I guess, but. Moth Rider Patrol, sure. Alright, hand is great now. We get to go double enchantment next turn, attack for five lifelink. Don't kill this! You bastard. Play this thing. Pump it up. Sakarath. Resub. Three and a half years. You're great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Patchwork Automaton. Sure. Wait, land. Oh my god. What is going on here? Just insane aggro draw. Alright. Uh, we draw an exemplar. I can't play truth and exemplar. We're just cycle here. Cycle and play a two drop. And I think we're gonna rain of truth, honestly. Yeah. Sucks to not grow this, but we'll just cycle this. Get planes. Rain of truth, attack for four. Otherwise, it's no attack, play exemplar, which also kind of sucks. Yeah, sure, just ship it. We have we we, we revise on it too, so bump it up. And attack for four. Am I going to aggressive and race me, huh? Is that what you want to do? 
Huh? Red white player. We have Kami to re revive us and draw some cards too. Play the Ronin. Attack for four. Their deck seems a little mis mismushed. Bump this. Alright, sure. Um we just Kami here and play a 4-3 and bounce this. I play Blade Blizzard, I can pump this again, which is pretty good. This thing flipping next turn is kind of bad, so it's not gonna be good. I was gonna play this Kami. A little short on lands here. But Kami blocks really well too, so. Play this, bounce this, gain three. Set it up for next turn. It's only getting better, you know? Gain three, say go, it's 19 to 16. And then next turn we draw a land, we can go steward and just set up for an even better next turn. Or we can go Kitsune pump, we can go exemplar, something else. Hot tub time machine over here. Oh my god. Uh, I have to process what just happened. So, make two twos. They gain menace and haste to end of turn. So like, this is like sort of a fireball. We just kill their thing. We take a lot this turn, but just have a bunch of blockers for next turn. Because the menace goes away. Alright. Sure, I guess. The flyers are a little annoying here, but... Again, we we were attacking back for like a million. They're a ring of truth. Go to ten. But now except they have literally nothing left. We just play, play the Blade Blizzard and just uh, pump this thing and say go. Now all our blocks are pretty good. Yeah, it's just like fine, I think. I feel like draw out on us here could be pretty bad for us, but we have, uh, we have a naturalist in the bin too. I can see some value in playing in just playing this thing. Get back naturalist. Get back naturalist is pretty good. Uh, all the cards we have in our hand. Maybe we should play the unit. Just play the unit. We have three good blockers then too. I like that actually. If we can get this naturalist back in play, it's also a life linker for our uh, for our reign of truth, which is pretty sick too. So. Yeah, so, no attacks, just say go. So, pay for this. Just, like, don't draw a good kill spell here. You know, just, like, I need, I, need, I need you to, like, not pop off on me for, like, one turn. Opponent. Hello. Come on. All right. Sick. Sick rips. That hurts a lot because now, uh, now we're like behind the eight ball a little bit. Gross. I get it for four here. I, I'm gonna lose this game. This is this is gross. This is just gross. Alright. Um, draw a land. But now we're just like heinously behind the eight ball. <sighs> that sucked. That stupid draw. We... Shrine Steward for Arrest. We just take four. We're just dead on board, basically. We Reign of Truth. The problem is we don't have any enchantments in play. We just don't have enough time to set up now. Because we, we spent our turn setting up with this thing. Planning on using it next turn. But because they killed it, now we're like a turn behind. Um, so it was like it was definitely the right play. Because like it made our it made this turn so much better for us if it lived. And they had no cards in hand. So like, obviously if they, uh, if they, you know, they don't destroy a kill spell right then and there. Uh, we're like totally fine, but, um, can we race them? We can just like exemplar, reign of truth, attack for 
six trample. No, that's not going to work. God damn it. Um, so we need to like, so if I, if I, if I steward for the, uh, for the pacifism, they get it for four. I pacify this, then they just kill me with this in the air. Yeah, this sucks. This sucks. I'm gonna try and race, I guess. Hope we draw a removal spell. Tough game. Tough game. I feel like these red, these red white decks are basically only good when they like they have to have to hit every spot on curve. There's no cards in and draw a kill spell. They're they're in good shape, but I can just block here. Also, honestly, I probably just block. Yeah, I'm just super dead. Yeah. All right. I mean, I don't have any outs anymore. They just kills the flyer. I target the samurai vish jump block, so I'm gonna get it for two. Discard a land. All right. Go to four. Okay. That is uh, not a playable card. Yeah, we're just dead. Tough game. Pretty frustrating game, honestly. Um, like, I think their deck's just, like, pretty bad. But what are you going to do? Like, got cheesed out by this thing a little bit. They're, like, playing missing no artifacts. Like, whatever. Yeah. So many outs. Ah. Uh... Four, three. Yeah, I'm just dead. Just can't do anything. There's no way to make them block either. All right, they got us. That sucks. Shitty game. Shitty game. I mean, I mean, we beat them like a large portion of the time, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, well, I think our deck is great, though. I'm not, I'm not super worried. So, another mythic opponent. Oh, come on. All right, we're going to mulligan this because we have five drop, five drop, basically five drop, two drop it needs mana, and not so great three drop, so it's better. It needs to draw a, a green source, obviously, but still, but still better. All right, just draw a green source and we're good to go. Old, uh, the old Rady action. It's not a green land. Sonic reset. Thanks so much. Forty-one months and still going strong. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Grafted growth, sure. All right, we drew our forest right on time. Right on time. Um, They're not going to block here. I just tech record them. Yeah. They're not blocking here. Just tech record replay. Kill this 3-3. Three, three. Pretty sure that's where we're at. Pretty sure that's where we're at. Ninja vanish! Kill this. Play this. There you go. It's not a samurai. It's a ninja. They still have a lot of cards in ants. Like, a lot of cards in ants. They have, uh... Five mana, also. This is a samurai, too. And Turn four, harmonious attack. Sure. Go Shintai. That's not bad. All right, so you go land. I can't play both here. God damn it. Come on. All right. Um, I play this. This costs two less, but it will cost four. It's too much, so. All right, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're 
We're, uh, we're close to Samurai being good. In for four again. Take four. Card quality just through the goddamn roof. All right, cards messed up. Cards messed up good. They find a careful cultivation. That's not very good. All right, we're like kind of popping off here now. Play this for one. Draw a card to land. Play samurai for two. Play land. No attacks. Grow this thing. We're a few turns behind our, our pace here, but we are definitely doing the things we want to be doing. This thing puts plus one, plus three, if they really want it. They could put this on the uh, the forest, and they're, then they're pretty all in. But it does block everything I have, and attack of vigilance. And reach a force for the flyer. Okay, I want to kill this forest. Um, I just like can't though. <laughs> we just like don't really have a enough power to kill. Losing a lot of stuff here. Try and kill the prancer. Oh man. Um. I also kind of want to keep the life linker if I draw the the Mikokuro. Whatever, whatever it's called. Reign of Truth thing. Um, am I just like blocking with the... Uh, this is a, not a trick. Um, am I just blocking with the 4-4 uh, the four, four flyer here? What if I go like... I want to keep both of these. I think we're doing this. We're obviously going to lose a lot to a, uh, a trick here, but we just can't afford to not block. This is a good exchange for us in theory. Um, I can do this too, I guess. I don't need that, actually. They'll, they'll, they'll kill the flyer of the naturalist, so let's do this. Oh, if they have the, uh, the plus one plus one counter on both, though, that's a blow out. That would be really bad. Okay. I mean, that was bad. It could have been worse. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. <sighs> Sucks. Sucks. <laughs> All right, that's bad. So they just have five spells in their hand. I don't know if we'd ever win this game in a million years. In a million years. We gotta draw like heater, heater, heater. Because uh, they have five spells in their hand and a bunch of power in play. That's a good draw. That I mean, as far as good draws go, that's a good one. So, um, all right, here we go. Here we go. Big swing, big draw, down to five. Pay the one. All right. Put a counter there, attack for six. It already has vigilance, so whatever. And no blocks. We draw a Reign of Truth, please. Can we do that right now? We have two of them. We have two of them. I'm just saying. I'm not saying we deserve it or nothing. Because we probably don't. But 
it would still feel pretty good. You leave it alone? Come on. Get out of here. <laughs> Somebody's playing a prank on me. <sighs> yeah. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is unreal. This is actually just unreal. Alright, I guess uh I guess next next game, I guess. All I have to do is put this thing on this and we die. And then they're gonna do it. Alright, yeah, I guess. I am flabbergasted that we're 0 2 right now. F flabbergasted. Uh, unbelievable. Guarantee a winning record with this deck. Heard your first. I guarantee a winning record. Keep. Keep this. Malicious Malfunction, what is that, JM? At the Infest, that card's terrible. It's a sideboard card if you're playing best of three, but they're gonna fang me? All right. All right, another green deck. Okay, attack for one, sure. Uh, all right. Double Geothermal Kami is not really exciting me right now, but Hello, opponent. Mind Link Mech? I mean, that guy's pretty good. Alright, draw. Oh my god. Could these draws be, be any worse? Or that guess like a, like 10 2 drops in it, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna attack. I'm just gonna. Whatever. It's fine. Like. This is the entire top end of our curve. We have a Sunblade Samurai and a Shrine Steward, and that's it. Every card costs three or less. Most cost two. Terminal. All right. So they have four spells in hand. All right. So we have time at least. Time to draw a, uh, an exemplar here. No attacks. Pump it. Just draw land, play Kami, bounce back to my hand. All right, now they're online for uh, all their in hand, probably. So they have four spells in hand. That's good. Play a sphere, that's good. We're O2. Our opponent's deck should be bad in theory, you know. Oh, just draw land. All right, range truth flips. Play exemplar. Attack with the exemplar. It's four. They're going to fire up the mech as a 4-3 Death Touch Flyer. My thing has four powers, so... They're going to trade the mech for the Exemplar? It's fair game. 
It's fair game. All right, fast priority. What do you got? Yeah, trick. Nope, just straight up trades. Sure. All right. Not a bad trade. The problem is they're just like actually casting spells and have much spells in their hand too. Oh my god. Don't call me war me. Don't call me war me war me right now. Oh my god. Sometimes you can't win, folks. Sometimes you just can't win. Um, what am I going to do? Don't think I played bad these games. <laughs> like, pretty rare this happens, but... Uh, I like can never beat this card in a million years. It's as far as like actually being cast, it's probably one of the best rares in the format. It's obviously very hard to cast, but if you cast this card, it's like probably one of the most unbeatable rares. No, it's still a skill game. It is a, it is a card game. You occasionally will uh, have this happen to you. Very much a skill game. Yeah, I mean, you know, discard probably like Emergence or Kami. Kami bouncing uh, lost our Ramp Truth. Also, it sucks. Discard Kami, I guess. Problem is, of course, this is also a 6 6 flyer, so. Next turn, we can, like, cycle for a land and play Exemplar, I guess. We draw a land, we'll play Kami and bounce the companion. <laughs> Nice turn five, turn six. Nice turn five, turn six. Uh... Alright, you can't win, folks. Sometimes you can't win. Nice O2 deck, opponent. Nice O2 deck. Worst thing possible in the Bronze Mythic series is going 0-3. The literal worst thing. All I want to do in this series is never have a losing draft. Always 3-3 or better. Always forward progress. To go 0-3 in a draft is backbreaking. Backbreaking. Alright, I guess you win. I guess you win. Alright. That was bullshit. Uh, that was a very, very shitty draft. I think we, we play this draft... You know, 20 times, we 7 win, I don't know, half of them maybe? Like, I think this deck was excellent. Uh, I think this deck was excellent. Um, now, we had, we, had, we, had, we had one more 03, I think. But um, the deck was bad, if I recall correctly. Oh my god, that was awful. Uh, that was awful. Um, it happens. You know, you can't, it just, you, we sign the play a card game, it's our 17th draft, it's gonna happen sometimes. But um, yeah, that was that was that was that was bad. That was really really bad. Let's take a look at the untapped and uh, take a little peek at our deck here because uh, this deck deserved better. This deck deserved a lot better. Um, this deck was great. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, we had two, four. This is like not only two drops. So let's say it's two, four, six, seven, eight, 
We had eight two drops. Uh, one, two, three, three, four drops. We had three fours, two fives, sorry, three fives, three fives, and a, a more. But again, this costs less, and then this isn't really, this is also like a cycler too. So, super low curve. I mean, double, uh, we had tech record, naturalist, double, double brain of truth, a couple good tricks. Deck was just cheap, efficient. Unit's pretty good here. Well, I guess some cards I'm not like thrilled we're playing. Like second Kami is not like amazing. Kitsune is not amazing. Um, Safekeeping's whatever. You know, there's like I mean, there's some cards here that are a little, a little, you know, yeah, they're fine. You know, but all in all, this is like a really, really good deck. Uh, this is a really, really good deck. And um, I don't know what else to say. Episode 17 is the book. It's gonna be really, really hard to get the under now. Uh, again, the, the, the over under line for drafts to Mythic was 21.5. Uh, I wanted the under. Uh, we were actually at a pretty good pace until this draft. Now I think we're like a huge underdog to make it, unfortunately. But what are you going to do? Just got to keep drafting. Uh, YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Episode 18 is coming up.